In this video, we're going to show how to tweak the CSS on your store and previewing the changes without them going live whilst testing. Here we're going to use the cart page. To do this, you'll need a copy of Firefox and the web developer toolbar installed. If you don't have that, you can go onto the Firefox add-ons page, search for web developer, add it to Firefox, restart the browser, and the toolbar will appear at the top of the page. So here we have the cart page with the default gray background colors. Go on to CSS, edit CSS, and in the search box, we're going to search for table because we want to change the cart table here. So here's the three classes which govern the table. This is the main table background. Here it's dark gray. We're going to change that to a dark orange. So you'll see that change appear on the page in your browser. These are the cell colors. Here it's light gray, we're changing that to a, a lighter orange. And then the white background color, let's try it with a gray, see how that looks. Well, maybe that doesn't look quite so good, so we'll change it back to white so the text stays quite clear on the page. Once you're happy with the look you've got, you can either save the CSS file to your hard drive and then upload it to the server. The other possibility here is to copy the CSS from the sidebar into your CSS file. That's what we're going to do here, so let's paste it in there to replace what we had before. Upload that to your server and then check your page and you'll see that the, the change has been made there. This is just one example of the CSS classes available from our help page here, ecommercetemplates.com help slash css.asp. You can do the same with any of these classes. We've got a comprehensive list available on the page here. You can go through them, have a look. For example, if you click on the editing the table backgrounds link, you'll see the one that we've just done there.